Hello guys and in this tutorial we're going to be working in Cinema 4D on importing a 3D intervention sniper rifle like the one you see in um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and um, add a camo like the Red Tiger one you see here simply within Cinema 4D. Now you just want to go to the link in the description um, like the one you see here, just, just download it, enter the code it is 600 KB and there you'll have the intervention, intervention dot ob so the object and the camo um picture all right so you're just going to go back and then this is pretty simple to do so you're just going to come up here oh sorry i'm just going to have to click new so when you're in it, it's just going to look something like this you're just going to go file open and you're just going to search for it so mine's going to be on my desktop you can save wherever you want so i'll just extract the folder first mine's just going to be called intervention um, dot object it might have the two in it I think I already had one before, I'm not sure. Just click open. Um yeah, it's already open, it doesn't matter. Um it's because that wouldn't come up with yours, that's because I have it in the other one. The other one I just showed you then. Now I'll just come up with this, it allows this for the scale and everything. Just hit OK. Nothing wrong with that. So as you can see we have the intervention facing on the floor like so. So we're just gonna wanna rotate that so we can deal with it more and add other stuff to it. So I'm just gonna click the top of the um scope here, holding shift to click the body. Sorry, click holding shift, not control. Hit the shift, hit the body, and also this little thing here. I don't know what it's called. Um, I'm not really into guns really that much. So once you've got the three of them highlighted, you're just going to come up here to the rotate tool, and then on the red one here, we're just going to rotate this up until we get to around 90 degrees. Let's just keep going. There we are, 90.3. That's close enough. I'm just going to go back to this tool up here. Click OK, the pointer tool. So now we have this object, as you can see we can move around, we have this object like so. Yep, pretty nice, completely 3D, you can add some text in front of that, add some cameras, everything will be good. This is my first ever actual tutorial in Cinema 4D, but I'm going to have a lot more on the way, like the intro you just saw in the beginning of this video, stuff like that. Pretty simple stuff, but a lot of people like it. So first off, we're just going to want to be create that camo for this gun. So in the materials down here, click anywhere down here, and it'll bring up a new material double click on it and then on the texture click down choose load image now the other one's going to be called camo so I'm just going to search for that it's a PNG file so camo.png open that up as you can see here we have the tiny showing us what it looks like it's just a little um, if I just show you really quickly on my cluttered desktop sorry about this as you can see it's just this red tiger camo that we're going to put on you can find your own um, camo if you re if you want to. But as we can see we have that there. Now you don't have to do anything else. You're just going to click on that so we've had that imported. Um, sorry, that right load image. I don't, let's do that again. Camo. Open. Right, so now we have that. Um, I'm just going to add a reflection actually um, to this. Change the reflection. Come on, let me change it. Oh, I know why. Sorry, guys. Uh, make sure on the color, then go to texture, load image, load image, then choose it. I had it on the reflection. Sorry about that. So just import that camo. Click OK. And as we can see here, we have the um, red tiger around this ball. Then go to reflection. And I'm just going to delete this. Sorry, I didn't mean to put that in there. Now you'll see something like this. On the brightness, take it down to around 15%. Let's go down until you get to 15, like so. You know, you can just manually change it. So now we have this nice red tiger with a little bit of a reflection. Just click exit, and as you can see, we have it down here. Just drag it onto the body, like so. So there it is, our red tiger. It does look a bit blurry now, but if we just click up here and hit the render, as we can see, you can see it's a nice red tiger. And when you actually render it out of here, it looks a lot nicer. So um, we're going to want to change the color of the scope. But you might want to drag this onto here. You could have it black like the scope, or you could just drag it on. I'm going to put it onto this little thing. So just drag it onto where you want. And then with the scope, I'm just going to double click down here, create a new material, come up to the color. I'm just going to click here and choose a black color. OK. I'm going to add some transparency to this. I'm going to take the transparency to 15. OK. And I'm going to add a reflection as well, and I'm going to take it down to 15 as well just to give this black a nice glossy glossy look as we can see there exit out of that and drag it onto the scope now you won't be able to see much now um, if you just render it out 
obviously we have the intervention but because the background is black we're not going to be able to see that so if I just click back go to where these little um, it's a light if you click and hold down I'm just going to choose floor um, you can also add sky stuff like that so now if I just click that if I hit render now it's just going to render it and as we can see we have the 3D intervention with the nice scope and if I just zoom around, I'm just going to be out of this now. As you, the scope doesn't look as good, but you have a 3D intervention sniper rifle. Now, you can maybe want to tilt the back down by just simply tilting it. But as you can see, it looks really good. It is actually tilted a bit anyway, and it's like it's on the floor. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, guys. So, if you did, please subscribe. There's going to be a lot more cinema 4D. It, um, intros and stuff like that on the way so hope you subscribe guys see ya